Hey everyone, Tony D and Little Joan here on a Screenwriter's Rant. And we are taking a look at Dirty Cops LA. The trailer, uh, we're going to evaluate it using my screenwriting abilities and Joan's doggy abilities, which are only so good to evaluate uh, movie trailers. Please check out my books, Woke a Stand, a Novel in the Pineys. Links in the description. Okay, let's go. It's pretty funky. Wallace. You see Jack or Johnson? Hey, you supposed to start a day at 8 o'clock. But the niggas never here at 8 o'clock. I just don't Can understand. you please stop yelling at me? You're the only person here who does. Calm it down. What's happening, Officer Fat Harris? Check the Fat Harris, man. <laughs> I, like, I, I like these characters. They're a little more laid back than, than uh, you know, some of the other characters you see as cops. These just seem like normal, average Joes. Don't keep the rental car fat. My nigga, I told you we like bad boys, baby. I'm Mike Lowry, and you're a heavy set ass Martin Lawrence. You know what? You know what you need to handle? The fact that Jackson is over here smoking in the break room. I know you smell it. So you're gonna have to spark up that blender. Is that there for decoration or some shit? And Johnson is looking at my ass. And he looking at the secretary ass too. Shit's getting real out here, man. <laughs> Kids are popping up in ERs all over the city, apparently overdosing on meth. Okay, there hasn't been an explosion or a car chase yet, and we are uh, almost a minute in. We're about halfway through. So this is this says to me this is a low-budget movie, uh, but I kind of like its angle, that these guys are just kind of not really doing their jobs. It's kind of funny. Fucking mollies. What the fuck they do mollies cut with fentanyl? Well, I need you to have his motherfucking ass in my office quick, fast, in a hurry, and right motherfucking now. Do you understand? So you back. Cap is on our ass. Okay. All right, you know, if we don't do his thing, we can't do our thing, my nigga. So tell me you know a little bit of something. I don't know a whole lot about a lot, but I can tell you a little about a little. You've been undercover so long, I can't tell if you a cop pretending to be a dope dealer or a dope dealer pretending to be a cop. This nigga don't know. Look at him, he don't know. You don't know, do you? Uh, if don't that know. ain't the pot <laughs> calling the kettle black, you two niggas are the dirtiest. Look here, motherfucker. <laughs> Today we just cops, all right? <laughs> There's hey. a lot of cursing in this movie, but I, I'm kind of digging it. Man, you really think we need to be robbing this beautician bitch right now with Cap all the uh. way up our ass? Look, my nigga, let me fuck this duck. You just hold the head. My uh. little sister gonna trap the what? fuck out of them bundles. You know how much you can get for 2,000 bundles on the street, nigga? Yeah, do the math. Now say it with me. Bad boys, bad boys, what they gonna do? Not a motherfucking thing, my nigga. Not a motherfucking thing. Let's get the fuck out of here. Well? They are definitely dirty cops. Um, and it's kind of funny. At the same time, they're not very sympathetic. Um, I'd like to see some redeeming quality of these guys rather than they just rob people and do things. So, uh, yeah, Joan's concerned as well. Um, it's going to be a tough sell. I mean, it's funny. It'd be a funny skit. I don't know if you could sustain it for 90 minutes. I think we needed to see another cut of this where, like, I don't know, they have a cute doggy or uh, save the orphans or, or do something positive. Uh, because without it, I don't know if you can make this movie work. 